Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone welcome back to another episode of the Islamic Demons podcast so sorry for being MIA for a while uh, I was actually moving from different locations uh, I basically shifted my house so I shifted from one house to another one so I haven't had a chance to make any videos or be online so hopefully when I get my internet connection uh, you guys would be able to see this video so yeah uh, again sorry for that but anyway so i've been meaning to make a video on this topic for a while now so in case you guys don't know uh, there is a very famous uh, science fiction series it's called the three body problems in that uh, se- the author of that series was recently interviewed and he turned out to be a pro-china uh, anti uyghur uh, activist <laughs> you know because in that interview he said some very atrocious things so basically uh, in his interview he was asked about uh, what he thought of china's treatment of the uyghur muslims and he said that he thinks that it's a good thing he thinks that uh, what china is doing is uh, is they're helping the uyghur people uh, by re-educating them and putting them in these camps i mean it's an interesting way to you know, I mean, it sounds better than saying that, hey, you know, my government is uh, doing another Holocaust like Nazi Germany, but, you know, uh, you can also call it, you know, they're re-educating them. Yeah, I think that makes it better. But anyway, so, and he go went up to say that, would you rather that we the Muslims hack up dead bodies or would you rather that they go to these uh, concentration camps? If there are dead bodies everywhere, where are we supposed to plant crops? Liu said. Humans must adjust their habits to accommodate changing circumstances. When I brought up the mass internment of Muslim Uyghurs, around a million are now in re-education camps in the northwestern province of Xinjiang, he trotted out the familiar arguments of government-controlled media. Would you rather that they be hacking away at bodies at train stations and schools in terrorist attacks? If anything, the government is helping their economy and trying to lift them out of poverty. The answer duplicated government propaganda so exactly that I couldn't help asking Liu if he ever thought he might have been brainwashed. Now, in case uh, this guy doesn't know, but in Islam... It is forbidden for Muslims to mutilate dead bodies. However, and here's the interesting thing, there's a few articles that came out recently that talked about how Chinese government is harvesting organs from Uyghur Muslims. So, no, man, (laughs) you don't have to worry about uh, the Muslims hacking up dead bodies. Your government is already doing it. Now, to his defense, some may say that, ah, but he lives in China, you know, I mean, if he doesn't say that, then he might be hurt, which is fair. But the problem is, is that if he really does not like his government's policies, then why say anything at all? You know, just be quiet. You know, I mean, don't say anything. But he did, not only did he chose to say something, he said something absolutely disgusting. He blamed a group of people, a community that has been mass- that is being put into concentration camps. Their women are being eat. The their women are being forcefully sterilized. People are these Muslim brothers are being forcefully deconverted from Islam to atheism, and they are separating their children from their families, etc., etc. What the Chinese government is doing is absolutely disgusting. Which is why I ask everyone who is watching my videos to, if it's possible, boycott Chinese product. I know it's very hard and it's a bit hypocritical because uh, the phone that I'm recording on is made in China as well. (laughs) But we have to try our best and make at least a partial boycott because there are a lot of things that are made in China that you just you just can't buy from anywhere else. And we have to replace this with our own product. 
but that that's not going to happen overnight. So here's here's what I demand. I demand that the Chinese government stop these camps, stop enslaving weaker people, stop forcing them out of Islam, and 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 just stop oppressing them. Stop the camp. But this is a main goal. First of all, stop the camps. Okay, don't send people to be raped, to be mutilated, and God knows what else. And this should be our goal. We, and for that, we should try our best to boycott Chinese product. And and yeah, that's all I had to say. Uh, hopefully, inshallah, I'll see you guys in the next time. Jazakallah khairan. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.